Dr. Gonzo a boogie here again. And um, in this video, I want to show my top five zombie films. And uh, zombie films seem to be pretty popular nowadays. Same thing with zombies, where um, I see zombies um, on a lot of stuff now. Like on TV shows, there's zombies. Um, they're more common in movies now than they used to be, even though the zombie um, like craze has been around for a while now. It's not like really a new thing. It's just it's got this new found popularity since like The Walking Dead came out, which I'm sort of a fan of. I don't I haven't been keeping up with it though since like the second season. So, um, but I know so many people that like that show that it's like I feel like what's the point of keeping up with it when someone can just tell me what happens in it anyways. But um it's it's a decent show. I thought it was alright, but um my top five list deals more with classic zombie films, which are my favorite. The new zombie films are good. I mean, like, Dawn of the Dead, the remake was decent. Um, what else do we have? Uh, 28 Days Later I thought was alright. I saw World War Z in theaters, and um, I did not think that was that good. Maybe the book is better than the movie, which I might give it that credit. I have not read the book, and I didn't, you know, really know about the book going in to see the movie. I, just, I knew there was a book, my, you know, people mentioned it to me before, all my friends and everything, but I just, you know, never read it, but maybe the book is uh, better than um, the movie, but I thought the movie was lacking and wasn't that smart, and to have uh, a huge budget and, uh, a, you know, A-list actors like Brad Pitt in it, I really figured there would be um, a smarter story to it. I thought it was, I thought George A. Romero's classic Dawn of the Dead was a smarter zombie movie than World War Z. But that's just my opinion. And um, I guess I'll just get going on the list. And um, this is my number five pick. Zombie. Which, um, this was released in um, America as Zombie. But it was released internationally as Zombie 2. Because Dawn of the Dead was released internationally as Zombie. So this is actually the foreign sequel to Dawn of the Dead. Which might be confusing, but if you Wikipedia it, uh, it explains it pretty well. And um, this is a really cool film. And this is my favorite zombie movie that really deals with the like voodoo type zombie. That like, you know, like somewhere in like Africa, you know, some crazy voodoo zombie stuff going on. This is just um, a brutal zombie film too, very bloody, very graphic, a lot of Italian horror movies. This is an Italian horror film directed by uh, Lucio Fulucci, and he's, um, he's a really good um, Italian horror director. I have a good chunk of his other films, and uh, He's done some other zombie movies too, and uh, so I mean, if you want to check out some more zombie movies, definitely look up uh, his uh, his filmography. He's got a you know a good like four or five in there. But um, this film is uh, definitely pretty fun, and if you've never seen it, you know it's definitely worth checking out at least once. The cover is um, almost as good as the movie and I hate to say that because it all that will you know come off as the movie maybe being bad but um this cover is just brilliant like I'm a graphic designer and um this is just awesome like I love these um I love good covers on DVDs and VHS's but this movie is um like uh famous for having a uh, really cool eye gouging scene or eye stabbing scene and it's also uh, known for having a zombie fighting a shark scene. Which I don't think has ever been done in another movie. And I don't think ever will be. But um, this is uh, pretty cool. And uh, this is the insert in here. I don't know if I ever showed the insert off in my videos before. But Woodoo. And uh, it uh, opens up and... Uh, yeah, just uh, just awesome. Just awesome. Anchor Bay does a great job on these. Number four, The Return of the Living Dead. And um, I just love this movie. I love everything about this movie. Um, there's not really one thing bad I can say about it. Um, it's uh, It came out in 1985. And um, 
I love 80s stuff. Like, I love 80s music. I love 80s movies, especially 80s horror movies that have 80s music in them. And this is just a great example. Um, the Return of the Living Dead is just an awesome movie. And um, it has uh, punk rockers in it. It has uh, zombies that are almost impossible. Pretty much impossible to be killed. It's um, really smart and it's like different. The zombies talk in this one. Um, they communicate a little bit. Um, they um, they are almost impossible to kill, like I mentioned. And like it's just it's a really original zombie film, and um, just it is awesome. It's almost it's probably one of the best zombie movies ever made. And of course, why I made it in my top five zombie movie list. And then um, number three on my list is George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. And this is um, Romero's third in his zombie trilogy. And George A. Romero is just the man. And um, his zombie movies are the best. And he's pretty much the, the godfather of zombie movies. I mean, there were zombie movies before George A. Romero came out, but he, um, before he made Night of the Living Dead. But he pretty much like invented the like what a, what a modern day zombie movie should be and he kind of re um like um kind of like like created a new way to make horror films in general like a raw style that influenced a lot a lot of uh, horror movie directors in the 70s like uh Wes Craven and uh people like that so um and uh Toby Hooper and um just uh you can't I can't say anything bad about George A. Romero too. His newer movies and his newer zombie movies I don't think are as good as his classics, but then again it's like it's hard to make things so good. It's, it's hard to make great things, you know. It's like you can't just keep throwing out great zombie movie after great zombie movie. It's uh he just with his first three zombie movies he's got he got really lucky and made perfect perfect movies. And um, I have this cool Anchor Bay um, edition. It's like an older edition. It has this cool cardboard insert with the original movie poster on it, which is just, this is my favorite um, horror movie movie poster I can think of. I wish I had this on my wall or something like that. Um, I'm going to invest and get a Day of the Dead poster one of these days. But um, this is just an awesome film. And... Um, if you haven't seen this one, check it out. Day of the Dead. <clears throat> and then um, next up on my list is Night of the Living Dead, which I just, I thought um, had to either be my number one or number two. And um, Night of the Living Dead is just, um, like I said, it's like the godfather of modern zombie movies and also like the, the godfather of modern horror movies. It has this like raw, independent, um, style that really, um, you know, like I said before, men, um, influenced a lot of directors in the 70s and, um, just, um, pretty much changed the horror movie genre from, you know, being more bloody and more just violent, which, um, you know, is a good thing because that's what horror movies are about. You want to see, um, violence and scary things and things that, um, you know, things that are just crazy. And um, this is just one of the best zombie movies. Um, black and white, um, but still just great and um, worth checking out for anyone. I have this weird um, elite edition of it, which has like a odd cover. Not one of my favorite covers I've seen, but um, for some reason I kind of like it. The side to it, the spine, reminds me of like Christmas. They picked like red and green, which are just classic Christmas colors, which is I just thought was kind of funny, but... I um, just like it. This is like the Christmas edition of Night of the Living Dead, even though it has nothing to do with Christmas other than the colors. But um, this is just cool. And um, just a great classic, classic uh, zombie movie. It's kind of like that bridge between classic horror and um, like modern horror. Like, you know, the Vincent Price, Peter Cushing days to the like, um, you know, Hills Have Eyes and... Um, Last House in the Left days. So, um, definitely important movie for horror movies and everything like that. And, um, I would just, the ending of this movie is crazy. And the whole movie is crazy. It's not just about 
like zombies, even though it mostly is, but it's like, it's also, it's got a good soul, like, statement on, um, just like, um, people in general and how we, um, you know, how, um, how we act around other people. It's kind of like, um, like a sociology study on people in general, too, this movie. So, I mean, if you're taking, like, a sociology class, I mean, this is a cool movie to watch, too. It's just, it's a very smart movie, and that's what Romero did. He wrote really good movies, and he, you know, you kind of don't realize it with all the gore and all the other stuff going on, but his movies, his earlier movies were really um, smart and well-written, in my opinion. And um, that's why they stuck out, and he became a well-known director for being independent, too, because Night of the Living Dead... Um, he released um, independently when um, I think a major motion picture company offered or like was gonna wanted him to release it under um, their company or whatever their production studio but um, he refused because they wanted him to change stuff like cut some scenes and um, add like a love story and um, you know he, he's just the man that's what I'm saying he released this movie independently he had to remake it um, with help from Tom Savini in the 90s just so we can get the rights for the movie back but um just great he's the man he really is and then my number one pick is another George A. Romero film because he is God when it comes to zombie films um Dawn of the Dead is just probably the most popular zombie movie ever made but for good reason it really has the coolest plot you can think of for a zombie movie I mean where else to go but an 80s mall where there's guns, food, everything you need to survive. And it's just, it's cool, it's awesome, even though this is a late 70s, not 80s movie, but you know what I'm saying. And um, it's just, this is just great. And um, I love this movie. I love everything about it. I love the music in it, which is done by um, Goblin, which um, Argeno uses Goblin a lot. Dario Argeno in his Italian horror movies. And they're just a really good progressive rock band. And it really helps give this movie its uh, vibe. Even though some of the music in this movie is stock. But if you get the Italian cut of this movie, um, it has more Goblin soundtrack in it. And I have uh, both cuts of this movie. This is like the, um, like the director's cut or whatever. The extended cut. Which kind of has like everything in it. Nothing's really cut out. Everything that can be uh, restored, I think, was restored on these editions. But um, this is just the best zombie movie ever made, in my opinion. I mean, nothing can beat Dawn of the Dead. And um, that's pretty much all I can say about it, because it's just so great. I mean, if you have not seen this movie, the original, it's definitely worth checking out. It's a hundred times better than the remake. And um, just... Just awesome. One of the best horror movies ever made, too. But, um, that was my top five zombies list. And, um, thank you for watching. And, um, I'll have an update video up, uh, pretty soon, too.